Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and I am feeling very excited today. And I hope this will carry on for a good few more weeks because we have just heard news of a of the early access release date for Hotel Magnate. Yes, it's been a couple of years now in development. Uh, I supported the Kickstarter campaign, so I've had access to an early beta now for a, for a couple of months now so far. Um, actually, probably a little bit more than that. But they've been quiet for a couple of months, busy beavering away, taking on board all the feedback they got from uh, that latest tranche of users of the beta version. And they're now in a position to go live with early access, available on Steam available on GOG. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what other platforms it's available on, but I dare say that they're, they're trying to make it as widely available as possible. So if you're looking at things like Critivo, Epic, um, I'm not sure about Origin, no. No. <laughs> they're trying to make it available as widely as they can. There is a price that's been mentioned somewhere. I can't remember what it was, but it was very reasonable. I think around the $20 mark. But again, remembering this is early access. So as this front page says, although this build is still one of the early beaters, uh, it hasn't officially gone into early access just yet. It's a few days away now. Quite a few things have happened over the last couple of months since we last saw this. And I thought that's good enough to get in now and give you a taste of what's to come because I'm pretty certain this will be a long-term Let's Play series on Ajax Post. Yes, I have started a game and it all went a bit wrong because there's a feature in the game which I'm so excited to see, but it's not quite ready yet. So yeah, things went a little bit awry. So we're gonna start a brand new game. It's gonna be a new sandbox game. We have, I think again, we've got a new biome here or a new location what we had before uh, but we're always going to start in the mountainside this green and pleasant land uh, we go through the tutorial I'm not sure if there's a way of skipping the tutorial yet I, I've not actually got to the completion of it but it is quite a sort of light touch tutorial to go through so this has improved quite something uh, since the first version we saw so we want to build a reception now the the mouse controls on this are a little bit unusual, so if you will excuse my, my my usually inadequate mouse control anyway, it may seem a little bit random at times while I'm getting used to this game's particular style. Uh, so we want to build a reception to start with, and we can either build straight walls, and look at this, you actually get lengths and angles when you're building walls, that's brand new. Uh, we won't build it there, or when you can right click to stop the building. Previously you had to escape and you went all the way back to the beginning. So this is a nice UI improvement. Uh, we'll put the reception, I'd like to put it back a little bit actually. So if we start it there, uh, we could do a single wall for $50. Uh, I've got $100 in the bank apparently according to the panel at the very bottom. We'll start with a rectangular wall, uh, a rectangular room rather. <laughs> If I, uh, if I move the mouse, that's it, I can get a better view. So that's, how big do I want to make this? Uh, that seems reasonable for a reception. I think so. Okay. Uh, we could put a door on it. Actually, that's not quite as far back as I wanted it to be. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it will have to do. Uh, actually, I'm thinking what I might do. Yeah, if we put the door on the side here. Yeah, oops, no, 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 go back to the doors. There you go. We've got a whole new variety of doors uh, available to us. A variety of prices, uh, yeah, from the modest to the reasonably expensive. A plain doorway. Um, I'd, li I'd like this door, actually. It's got glass in it, hasn't it? So if we take you, although the, the tutorial was pointing at another one. So if we put you there, I think that looks more becoming. Okay, now this is the first of the big changes we've got in terms of the objects and the assets. You'll notice now the building options panel at the bottom here has a few new features to it. We can, if I click on the door here, we can color it. And we've got a control panel here. This is so much kind of like The Sims in that you had a free reign in choosing what colors you like. Uh, that, that wood panel there, I'd like that to be 
a nice bright green or oh, why not yes and the the panel inside the door uh, I'd like that to be I want it to be ooh can I what ah that's better choice of colors isn't it uh, oh that looks nice a nice bright yellow I think okay that's cool and you can also set certain colors up as favorites so you can apply them so you can have a kind of color theme throughout your hotel which is all rather nice um, I kind of like that yellow actually so if I click alt and press there there's the yellow saved done right uh, so that's that's the door <laughs> we also need to put in there we need to make it a reception room so this is going to be a public area it's a reception room and it's telling us we need a reception desk now you may remember in the early build we saw it was a lot of bright neon colors which which I'm okay with that that gives it that kind of fun light-hearted aspect but there were quite a few people in the steam forums who thought I don't want to play this cartoony thing I don't want all these bright neon colors I want something a little bit more that you might actually find in a real genuine hotel or motel or whatever residential stay accommodation you might visit they've done that so we've got a whole new bank of options not all of which are open immediately yeah you need to get your your star rating you need to get your approval rating up before you can unlock certain new character new new objects in the game again how this mechanic will work we shall see as we go through early access uh, where there's a full sandbox mode where you can just have everything and design to your heart's content or whether as we're kind of playing here uh, we're playing a kind of story based kind of thing it's a, it's a guided campaign sort of story i suppose if that's the right word so we see you've got this desk this is nice i did love that big pink desk to be honest but this is fine okay and we have got the uh, the snapping options here to rotate it by sort of free form if i press the r key take that off i can just rotate it as i wish uh, i quite like the 90 degree rotation that's quite good uh, snap to grid so it only fits to the square grid you see there uh, and you've also got snap to wall uh, turn that on uh, that 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 probably doesn't work too well for a reception desk where you've got to have people <laughs> oh no it does there it is that's snap to the wall yeah the, again all these sort of things you will get used to uh, we don't want to align to the grid uh, as you play the game the sort of way it, it works uh, right so we'll people coming in through the door and I think we will be sat there that looks good okay so our reception room now needs a receptionist so we will hire some staff and we've got here ooh, four choices of people applying for a receptionist job actually they look more expensive than they did the first time I came to this build uh, 210 to hire them and then, is that an hour, hourly or does a daily rate 97 yeah 97 dollars or pounds it's pounds did I set that up oh I don't remember doing that how did it know that I wanted pounds uh, these are the settings there aren't a great many as yet that you can figure uh, so no that's fine one of the things that I do quite like is the UI scaling so depending on how big your screen resolution is and, and so on uh, you can adjust this to get it to fit so that you can still read it and it doesn't sort of uh, overburden the screen so that, that's quite nice uh, but no I haven't told it I'm I'm British I'm using pounds but maybe just pick that up from somewhere interesting because they don't use pounds in Australia do they which is I think is kind of where the game comes from it certainly has an international cast of developers actually Nikki Neal you're not not that much more expensive to hire and you cost less per day I think yet yeah, we will hire Nikki Neal uh, oh I've, I've got a thousand dollar that oh that's curious yes a thousand dollar reward but I oh uh, but I am getting pounds or did I misread that okay I will pause the game there because we don't want uh, Nikki what's your name to, to do anything uh, so yeah we've got you there on a sign salary raise no not yet and it's all sorts that we'll get on to all the staff and, and so on before uh, and before too long <laughs> okay build a housekeeping facility right this is 
all the, uh, the the laundry, the maintenance, and so on. So we need another room, uh, another room. That's that button there. Okay, so we'll build you along here, uh, and you will want. I don't want a straight wall. I want a. That's it. Does it do this? Oh, it does. That's fine. Oh, it doesn't tell me how big it is when you're doing a rectangular room. It might be nice if it did, but okay, that's that's fine. Okay, so we'll put you there. Well, I haven't decorated it yet, have I? No. Oh dear, I'm so slack sometimes. Uh, so we'll put uh, we'll put one of these doors. Don't want to spend too much money. Okay, we'll put you there. I think uh, that's you. There you go. We'll put you there. All right. Now, before we do get on to assigning this to the service people, we will colour this in. So we have got the floors. Uh, this is categorised now, and we do have search options. So can I search for blue? I can. That's nice. And get rid of that. That's, oh, well, that was odd. Didn't expect it to do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we're still sort of yet yeah, yeah, quite early build, so there's bound to be some odd things it does. Uh, so we've got plain colours, uh, natural, a wooden floor for reception, or sandstone. What about wooden floor? Will that work? Press shift to fill the whole room. That kind of works, I think. Uh, whereas for the housekeeping room, we'll use a tiled floor. Uh, a plain tile, I think, for that. That's fine. Okay, and for the wallpapers, what do we want here? Mm. Oh, for the outside, I'm going to use this l sort of logs, this lodge kind of look, I think. So if we put that all the way around. Yeah. Ooh, blue. I'm not sure I like the colour around that door frame. Could change that. Whereas inside, we want, we'll go for a plain colour on the walls here. Uh, a simple cyan. Will that work? It will, whereas for our service room, again, we'll just have tiles on the wall, I think. Actually, mm, do I want that or do I want something a bit plainer? Where's, is there a white? You're a green. Yeah, the colours show slightly odd here, <laughs> to be honest. Not quite sure why. Uh, that is a black. We don't really want black. What I want is white. Is there a white? Ah, there is. There you go. I'll put you in there. You look very similar to cyan, though. That's curious. Oh, and talking about colouring, we saw me colouring the door. You can, of course, colour the desks and everything else here as well. And you can even duplicate them. Now, the feature that was in the first of these beta builds that we saw a few days ago actually had a very rough early draft of the room duplication tool. So you'll be able to pick a room here and duplicate it and then replace it anywhere else. It didn't work very well at all and it was prone to sort of falling over and causing problems. So it looks like they've taken that out of the game so far, which is fair enough to be honest. You don't want a, a very ropey feature uh, in, in the game at early access. Uh, but that if they get that to work properly, that sort of room template, if you call it that, or duplication option, will be fabulous. Yeah, that's my simple, unbiased view. <laughs> so, what am I doing? Oh, I'm colouring. I'm colouring this, this uh, desk, aren't I? We could make it a lovely bright yellow, couldn't we? What about that bright yellow? Again, the material has an effect on the colour doesn't it? That's fine. Or purple. Oh no, that, that's a bit bold. <laughs> we'll do that, I think. That's nice. Okay, we'll do that. Right, we're, we're still building our, our, our housekeeping room, which is here. So let me just get the mouse in the right place. And what we want here, uh, now come out of there. That's it, you're done. And this is going to be housekeeping. And we're going to need a washing machine in here. That's all we need at the moment for this. And we will put you alongside these walls, I think. That will do nicely. 
and we do then need to hire someone to manage the washing machine. Hire someone there. Who have we got? Oh, you're, you're very cheap. And they're all one star, so I assume they have the same capabilities. But I guess, I think they've got individual traits and so on as well, which, uh, will we, which we will see develop over the course of the game, I think. Again, I'm kind of guessing at some of these things. Oh, yes, that's it. A thousand dollars. I've claimed a reward, but I am being paid in pounds. Yeah, that's not quite so good. Right, we now need to create three bedrooms. So what I will do is I will finish this off. I'll do a little bit more tinkering with the colour scheme and layout of this and build the four rooms. And then I'll be right back with you and see what our first guests make of our fabulous new hotel. Okay, I think everything's pretty much ready there. We've got reception. We have got service, uh, house cleaning, a washing machine, and a public bathroom. Oh, there's a bit of wall there that needs doing. 
Yeah, I'm not entirely convinced by this bathroom area, but it will have to do, I suppose. <laughs> if we take you and just put you around there. Yeah, guests don't seem to worry too much about privacy, I think. Well, they didn't in the previous build anyway. We shall see what happens in this one. Uh, you can put en suites into bedrooms. I think as we saw in the previous playlist I did for the for the, for the earlier beta build of the game. Uh, but I've not done that for these basic rooms. And I've done, not done a much colouring either. But uh, yeah, they're all much the same. Shall we put some of that flooring down? We want that, that uh, stone, stone path in here. Let's get you out there. Now I'll do you along there. Uh, I'm not sure if th there might be an easier way of doing this for a, for an area. You can certainly do it by using shift to do a whole bounded area, but in an open space like this, which isn't bounded, then you are kind of <laughs> it goes everywhere basically. But that should work. Let's go a bit faster, shall we? And while it's doing that, a quick look at the manage options. These changed a little bit since uh, your last, uh, since we last saw the game. Uh, we've now got an overview of how well we're doing, guest reviews and so on, uh, a review of rooms. Uh, yep, that's right. We've lost the categories option, which was a way of sort of grouping rooms together by theme or by quality or by facility or whatever. And you could sort of then, I think, set a sort of category price for that room. They've changed the focus of that over the last uh, development cycle. Uh, so now what will happen is the amount paid will be based on the on the quality, as it were, of the guest, on the type of guest. So a guest will pay so much, regardless of what type of room you put them in. So if you put them in a room that meets their expectations, they'll be satisfied. But if you put them into a room which is better than they would expect for the amount they're paying, they will be even more satisfied and you'll get that happiness boost, which will be nice, wouldn't it? So that's how that's going to work. If we stay here, we'll, we'll slow it down a little bit. So the characters here, uh, much the same. Yeah, the, the characters uh, art hasn't changed much. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, again, there were a few people when we first saw this who thought, no, 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 I don't like these people. They don't, they don't look real or whatever. I like the style, has to be said. Uh, right, so I was looking at the manage option here. So that's the rooms. Uh, we can look at our staff, how well they're doing. We can go directly to them. We can fire them or we can increase their skills, find out where they're working. Uh, marketing campaigns, we're not doing that at the moment. And the budget, how much we're making, losing or whatever. So we've, we've got uh, two guests at the moment, which is these two people here. So they are, what does it, does it tell us anything about them? Well, I'm not giving you a complimentary, no. The status of the guests, presumably. Yeah, how they're all feeling, reviews. So far, nothing negative or positive. Right, so what else should we build around here? We need them to, to have something to do, don't we? Uh, about some lovely chairs, some decorations. We could put some decorations in, couldn't we? You know, all these these works of art are quite expensive, but then I've got eighty-six thousand pounds or dollars or whatever my currency is. <laughs> so we put some art in these simple rooms. Oh, I know one thing I've always for I constantly forget is uh, is lighting. Uh, you can hold the shift or sorry the control key and or the alt. There's a whole set of uh, settings you can look at here. Controls. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Control the speed, the snapping. Uh, I haven't learnt all these, so I'm a bit random, I'm afraid. Uh, multi multiple aligned. The Alt key now is used for all sorts of stuff. Rotating. Place multiple pieces. I've, I remember, remember to do that occasionally. Left click uh, with Control. And I love the fact you've got these lovely little mini movies, which sort of highlight the feature, which is good. Um, Alt and click for pick sample. Yeah, that's 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 good. I mean, it's, it's it does what it's supposed to do, which is fine. Uh, anyway, I was putting in some. I was going to put some lights in. That's what I was going to do. Where's the lighting? There you are. Uh, what sort of lighting? Ceiling lamps. I oh, don't have any yet. 
don't have any of those. I've got some wall lamps. Now these are table lamps. Ooh, can we put some furniture in the bedrooms? Uh, bedside table. No, I don't have that yet. Uh, simple seats. I've only got the shabby, the shabby couch. <laughs> got that one desk. A mini fridge. No. And a wardrobe. I can put a TV in there. Inbuilt. How does that look? That does look really, really naff, doesn't it? Work better with a table to put it on, I think. Yeah, that, that is not a good TV. <laughs> really. uh, and that one's the smaller one, but it's not on a cardboard box. Could do with a table. Can we put the TV on the table? Oh, you can. That's excellent. Right, uh, what I want to do is then click, uh, hold control key down and do that there. That's nice. That's definitely a boost for the quality of that room. Except, of course, the TV's the wrong way around. Can I move it around? Rotate it. That's good. And that one. Rotate you. That's better. So they can now watch it while they're in bed, which is the best way to best place to watch TV when you're, at a hotel, when you're at a hotel, isn't it? That's what I always find, anyway. Oh, we've still got no lights in these rooms. <laughs> Getting distracted. A little bit of uh, wall lamps. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, someone's doing the cleaning. That's good. Oh, and what are you doing? Oh, you're reading a book. That's nice. Uh, I want a wall lamp. Oh, there you are. Um, hmm. Just above the bed, it's not the prettiest of lights, but you know, ooh, got these. Oh, they're sexy, aren't they? They're, they're quite nice. Uh, could do with some artwork and some decoration within reception, of course. Uh, a flower decoration. Can you put that on the desk? No, it probably needs to go in a table, doesn't it? Uh, where's, is there a reception desk kind of? Uh, what if I search for table? Nope, no tables there. If I search in all for table, nope, there's no tables in there. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Okay, uh, oh, a vending machine. Yes, we should have vending machines. And they would, of course, normally be Hmm. Actually, we'll put it. Could it put it round the back here? Couldn't we? Nice vending machine. Could do with some shabby reception tools. No storage shelves. Reception desks. No, that's all the features, isn't it? We don't need to search for that anymore. Uh, what have we got here? Bar tables. Ooh, no, we haven't unlocked that yet. We're presumably waiting for our third guest to turn up. That's what's going on. Uh, oh, I was looking for some benches or seats or something, wasn't I? That's what I was looking for. Indoor plants. Oh, well, well you'll do. Okay, I'll put some there. And have another one. And there as well. Oops, in there. And do we have any other artwork? Well, you are, you are things. You're quite expensive, and I don't like spending money. Oh, you're 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 not too expensive. Okay, we'll, we'll put you there. Okay, how can we colorize you? Well, that's just the frame, is it? Hmm. Where's that green colour? It will make you green. That's fine. Good. Okay, we're going to wait for these guests to depart. And then we will see what our next objective is. And there it is. We have now three guests. So we've lost one. And we have got a third guest staying with us. So we've got our $1,000 bonus. 
Uh, we're attracting paying customers. Yes, we are. We're going to. We're definitely going to keep them happy. So we, our next is to get a two-star hotel rating, six good reviews with seventy percent positivity from the last ten guests. Ooh, with the level of one star. Well, wow, that that's quite a challenge, isn't it? So who's our new guest? Ismail, is it? As a jewelry shop manager, willing to pay two hundred. Oh, actually, how much? The finance on this room. Uh, this room here. Ah, right, they're paying 200 so far. That's good. Right, and if we go to the manage option, which I think was hotkey F5, uh, we're losing 15 grand. Oops. 75% guest mood. That's really good. Uh, no campaign. Cleanliness activities not so good, but yeah, they're all they're all feeling very positive, which is nice. First class service. Oh dear, not so happy about finding inner peace here. Calories. Oh, it's a restaurant kind of stuff, isn't it? Yeah, a gym burning calories. That's 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 what it's about. I seriously want to, seriously want to steal this furniture. Blinking heck, missus. No. <laughs> I wonder if that happens. Do you have thieving customers? That's good. Very positive. Backpacker. Right. We will leave this for the moment. And uh, I will be back in Hotel Magnate very soon. As I said, it's due out to early access on the 5th of October. At around the $20 mark, I think. That's a $20, $25. I may be wrong. If, if it changes um, before I upload this video, I'll add an annotation to it uh, to, to clarify that or whatever that figure is in your local currency. I'm loving this and it looks like it could be a lot of fun. So that's it. Just a sort of a, a, a teaser for what's to come on the channel over the next few months. We're definitely going to be seeing more Hotel Magnate. So if you've enjoyed this first revisit to the game, then do let me know. A like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs up button. Even better though, if you've got any thoughts, uh, what you're thinking about the game, are you going to be buying it? Are you annoyed by the art style? What are your hopes for it? Do let me know. Just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Hotel Magnate. Until the next time, bye bye for now.